Knowledge Check Let's review or check your knowledge. Well, you've done a great job learning the skills you'll need for your child's care after their operation. Let's review a few questions to make sure that you know the key points. Also, just a little helpful hint. For all of these questions, there can be more than one correct answer. Number one. Which statements about your child's new stoma are true? A. The stoma will protrude out of your child's body. B. The stoma can vary in size. C. The stoma will be dry. D. Your child can control when urine leaves through their stoma. Both A and B are correct. If you answered C or D, remember that the stoma is red and moist, similar to the inside of your mouth. Also, your child is not able to control when urine will leave the body, which is why your child will need to wear a pouch system at all times. Number two, when should you empty your child's pouch? A, when it is totally filled. B, when it is one half to one third full. C, once a day. D, every three to five days. B is correct. Remember that you need to empty your child's pouch when it is one-third to one-half full. If the pouch becomes too full, the weight can cause the pouch to start to pull away from the skin. Number three. Which steps are important when cleaning and inspecting your child's skin? A. Check the stoma color. B. Check the stoma for bleeding. C. Check the skin surrounding the stoma for redness and irritation. D. Clean the skin around the stoma with alcohol. If you stated A, B, and C are correct, then you're doing great. Remember that you want to clean the skin around the stoma with water or mild soap. Alcohol can irritate and dry out the skin, so it should not be used. Number four. What are some of the ways that you can prevent skin irritation? A. Keep the edge of the skin barrier close to the edge of the stoma. B. Don't let your child wear the skin barrier for too long. C. Use skin paste if the skin around the stoma is red and weepy. D. Change your child's pouch if liquid seeps under the barrier. If you stated A, B, and D, then you've remembered the key points. If you stated C, then let's just review. Remember that ostomy powder is what should be placed on red and weepy skin. Skin paste is used to fill in body folds or uneven areas to help create a better seal. Congratulations on completing your ostomy skills program. Remember to call your surgeon or nurse if you have any questions. We hope that you find this program helpful. Please complete your evaluation in the Ostomy Home Skills Kit and mail it to us, or go to the American College of Surgeons website, surgicalpatienteducation.org, and give us your feedback. This should be done after your first post-operative visit with your surgeon.